guys, uh, welcome today to Mocas number six with a really special guest that we really, really like. Uh, the cover, which is uh, a street artist from Lisbon. So tell us about you, the cover, please. Uh, my name is The Caver. Yeah, I'm from Lisbon, but I'm living in Porto now. Yeah. I'm almost a street artist, but my background is traditional graffiti, like uh, letters, you know, letters, painting illegally, doing oh, bombing, cool. painting trains, and then I realized that I want more. You studied some PR art, but are the academy? Uh, no, 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 no. Actually, I started computer engineering. I started studying that, but uh, I quit. And um, as I told you, I always love to, to draw. <laughs> and when I was like 80, 80, I decided that I want to do some something related with graphic design or stuff because I always draw the work. I study one year of graphic design uh, and then I work as a graphic design for uh, 10 years in the, the biggest agencies like uh, multinational like uh, Leo Brunet, I don't know if you know, but there are famous advertising agencies. And I, I was starting making lots of commissions at the same time that I was working as a graphic design. And I realized that I have no time to do both things with graphic design and only dedicate myself to, to the art world. I would like we would like to know about uh, what's what's your inspiration where is where is it coming from everything if you have any artist you get inspired from or if it's just how does uh, the process work for you brother that is a big question <laughs> I don't know to, because I'm always studying from where the inspiration comes. I don't know. Mm -hmm. When I was younger, I thought that if I if I go to a beautiful landscape or something beautiful, if I listen to good music, I thought I will be inspired. And I was at a certain point. I was inspired from that. I realized that it's not like that all the times. And sometimes I'm in the top of a mountain seeing like beautiful view and I'm saying and I'm thinking like will I be inspired in the next hours? And sometimes I'm not inspired. So I'm trying to understand where the inspiration came from came from. I really want to know because sometimes I really need it. Yeah, like when you are in the flow, usually, like you are inspired, you are in the flow. You make a lot of work yep. in one day, you do the mm -hmm. job for one month, and then for one Complete. week, you don't, you're don't. you stuck, you're stopped. Com like, you're like a white wall, and you're like looking at the wall, and you're like, what the f where, where is my inspiration? Yeah, it could be like in the, in the next day. Like, I go to the bed, yeah. uh, completely inspired, with full of ideas on my mind, and in the next morning, I'm empty. So, uh -huh. I can't. That's true. <laughs> or, or, or in the next morning, I don't believe in the ideas that I that I had in the last night. So it's crazy. I don't know. That's true. Uh, well, you do something of uh, your artwork. Uh, you do like a uh, sketch or is a uh, freestyle or something like that? Yeah, it depends. It depends a lot. When I'm on the street, sometimes I, f I freestyle because I still do some illegal paintings. Yeah, and I used to freestyle a lot, but uh, yeah, nowadays I also do a lot of sketching. If uh, it's a uh, work to some client or something, I need to do sketch because they need okay. to approve it first. And, and on the big pieces that I do, for myself, not for clients, I go to the place and take a photo of the wall. And if it's a big wall, I do a sketch. I bring I bring the photo, put the photo on my iPad and draw it over the wall. I do like a simulation first. Okay. Do you have some uh, writer or artist favorite? Yes, a lot. Uh, yeah, a lot. I really like Italian style graffiti, but my favorite graffiti style is German. But in Italian, I got some friends. I'm very inspired by a Milano writer that is Nemco. He's living in Canada now. He's a very good artist. I'm inspired by graffiti writers who, who turned artists with the time and uh, keep doing graffiti. I, I really like that. Okay. But yeah, in Portugal, I'm inspired by Leone, that it's a very old friend of mine, that um, it's a very good graffiti writer. He had the same background as me, like painting trains, uh, escape from police and mm -hmm. that stuff. You know? And now he's, uh, he's turning a... Um, a very good artist, not only by his style, but for the way that uh, he manages his career. And where is the, if you can, we can say, where is the, the craziest uh, place where you did a graffito? Mm -hmm. Subway. Subway was... All right. Painting a subway was the most mm -hmm. crazy mission ever yeah. because oh, feeling the heat you feel in the tunnels the adrenaline the, the rush 
That's in, amazing. In painting in high places, very high places. So uh, like, uh, like the one up? Like the one up, respect. How oh, the one up, yeah. No, I saw a, a graffito one up in uh, Semarang, which is north uh, Java Island, which is like very remote place in the world, Where? in Indonesia. And yeah. I was like... Yeah, yeah, they are everywhere. Yeah, it's like a very small village, yeah. I was like super impressed about this. I'm not uh, certain about it, but I think that they are like 40 guys or 50 guys. Yeah, okay. They, they go on yeah. vacation, like three or four, spread all, of, all, all over and doing videos everywhere they go and just paint, paint, paint. They're crazy. And you know, they, they are well known for, for their big pieces and illegal stuff and vandalism stuff, but they are also getting galleries. Yeah, yeah they are at uh, the Miami Art Basel yeah. last year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, art pieces and uh, performances and stuff like that. Yeah. How do you explain this uh, gallery and vandal uh, make together? It's strange. Why not put the police call? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's new times, new things. I don't know. It's very strange because uh, you make something illegal after go to the gallery and police don't say nothing. So the thing is that it's impressive. The um, well, I don't, I don't think they have exhibition in near the their houses. Maybe just far away from houses and from local polices, I guess. <laughs> okay, so, okay, you show us uh, some works. Okay, some experience like plasticine, plasticine paintings. Oh. This is a new thing I'm trying. Cool. Yeah. Oh wow. But I recommend you to to go to my Instagram and check all uh, yeah. the stuff. Yeah. Oh, here I, I was working on a small sculpture this this evening. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It's something new. I'm trying this. Still trying. I saw so they added us a commission. Very cool this. Yeah, it's in the headquarters, the biggest headquarters in Portugal. It was the second time I was painting there because I already painted there one time. It was cool, yeah, money also, but... Um, <laughs> to make yeah. a other collaboration with a brand or something like this? Like this one with beer, this is the, the biggest Portuguese beer brand, Superbock. I did a lot of uh, works to, to them, like um, I did this bottle, I painted this, this drawing in a big building, and then I painted a lot of um, live on parties. They go to some of the most important clubs in Portugal, throw a party with this bottle. They are giving the bottle and I was painting live. So you have a lot of beer now? <laughs> uh, not really. <laughs> not really. I... How is... Uh, so I've never been approached so far like uh, from a like big brand like Adidas. How was your first uh, feeling and how did you work with them? Was it something an easy process? Because it's a big company, so you have they have a lots of people working in. So I guess the process might be a bit smooth, or it was very very hard. Um, as I told you, uh, I was a graphic designer and I worked in advertising agencies and did a lot of campaigns for a long time. So I think I have. It's not hard for me to to do a proposal to the clients where they will accept it on the first or second time. With my graphic design experience, I, I have the power to make better images for clients. So it was not hard to they approve the, the final sketch. As in this Adidas case, it was very easy. So you work alone eh? or you have uh, a crew? Uh, I work alone and have lots of crews, <laughs> actually. Okay. Uh, okay. Three in Porto and one here in Porto. Oh, cool. <laughs> you told me you also like very very lot uh, punk rock yeah. music. So I think mm -hmm. you, are, uh, you have a band. Uh... No, 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 no. When I was young, again, but not nowadays. Nowadays I play alone. Uh, I connect my guitar to, to the iPad and do some solo one-man army. Okay, cool. Yeah. I do some fast tracks. How is the punk rock scene uh, in Portugal? Mm, almost dead. Never dead. Punk's, ne punk's never dead, but um, yeah. very slow because, you know, hip-hop just swallow all the music movements. Yeah, and it's the same here in Portugal. Everyone is listening to hip-hop. Okay, like yeah. Skate, skate, it was used to, the skaters are used to listen to punk rock, but nowadays they, they listen to hip-hop. Everyone listens to hip-hop, so mm -hmm. not so much punk, unfortunately. It's bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not, not only here, I think in all the world. I'm just really w waiting for a comeback. When I was younger, I, at the high school, I, I had uh, three bands. I played uh, punk rock, punk hardcore, uh, like, uh, like a napal death. Uh, ah, yeah. Or something like that, you know. It's violent. Uh, a bit, yeah. 
Screaming uh, yeah. voice. Ah, yeah, yeah. But I'm Screaming a drummer. <laughs> I, I don't scream. I, I play drama. <laughs> I also like on that, but I used to listen to more uh, skate, skate, skate punk, like No FX, Dead Religion, and oh. Pennywise. Yeah, cool. But I also like more aggressive music. Huh. Even death metal and brutal metal, I like it. Yeah. Oh, cool. And Pennywise, yeah. I, I, make, I make photo for us. I come in Brescia. Really? Yeah. It's... Bad Religion were in Lisbon and I've been there. It was good. It was right. full of people. Now that many people still listen to, to punk music, but and... only old guys, <laughs> not younger younger guys. So you still uh, listen to punk rock also, hip hop? <laughs> no, I also listen to hip hop, but I still <laughs> listen to punk rock, yeah. And some new bands, of course. Still listen to the new Bad Religion, no FX, Pennywise albums or releases, okay. but I still I also listen to new bands, like uh, an English band called Idols, are one of my favorites now. Unrelated to punk, but it's more post-punk rock. I saw on the, on the Eastern Yard, you told me before, the augmented reality and stuff. It's very cool. Uh, yeah, but it was not me who did it. I just made the flat draw, then send it to the agency and they do the animation. If you buy a bottle, then you point yourself onto the bottle, you see the animation. Yeah, if you have any future projects, you told us a little bit before, or if you have anything else going on where we can link in the description so people can follow you, some events. Maybe now not, it's not the best uh, period of the year <laughs> history, but maybe you can have something in the future. With this situation, I got uh, lots of things that got cancelled. So I'm not with much projects now, but mm -hmm. I, uh, this year I was supposed to travel a lot to street art festivals. I was supposed yeah. to go to Jordan, to New York, I went to Germany, that happened, but most of the things were cancelled. I'm hoping to do that the next year. Uh, now that I'm working on canvas, I have some free time, so I'm closed in the studio, painting canvas, trying, it, trying to take the most of the time. The situation will recover soon, and I, I'm, I have hope that everything starts running again. How is the, the situation in, in Portugal? It's getting worse every day now. They are closing everything now again. And uh, let's see. I'm not seeing a uh, bright future in the next months, to be honest. Okay. You have a lockdown there? Uh, not really now, but they are talking about that. Okay. Okay. With Matteo last year, we, we went to Lisbon and I saw your piece in the, the Underdogs Gallery. Yeah. And there I buy your print. And yeah, yeah. Nice. So you are under this gallery. Uh, uh, I'm not really connected with them but sometimes I do some uh, small editions with them but I never did a solo show there okay. just small uh, editions okay. prints and, and stuff so yeah. you are related okay. with the some gallery you work a lot I uh, or two uh, I'm related with Circus represented by them I did my solo my first solo show there they represent some artists from Porto and they just like commissions and sell our canvas and stuff like that I don't know what to say, but my advice is to work and believe that one day things will come. When did you realize, if you realized, because this is something like pretty much as myself, when did you realize like you you reached your style and you wanted to keep going with that style without too many changes? Is there a moment like you say, oh, I, I, I really like what I'm doing, which is difficult from an art, for an artist to say so, because usually you're like, is there a moment you say, Fuck, I love what I'm doing right now. I, I, I want to keep going like this. This is a process that is... I've been doing this for many years. Yeah. So if you look at my style like 10 years ago, it's similar, but mm -hmm. uh, like more complex. Yeah. With, the, with the year, I try to simplify the style yeah. more and more. Yeah, nowadays I think that I reach a point that I have my own style. The thing is working, so I'm getting invited for lots of festivals and do commissions. And at this point, I realized that I cannot change a lot because this is working. I don't want to be doing the same thing for all my life, but uh, nowadays I know that this is working, so I will keep trying to put the style better. I'm in this way now. Okay, interesting, very interesting. Oh, cool. Oh, so thank you for the well, part of Mocast. So if someone, if you want to follow you, you can find the, follow your Instagram. Also the, the Circus Gallery you told us. Yeah. Follow Mocast here on uh, Instagram, YouTube. And this is Mocast number six. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you, Dikeba. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank Bye, you. I guess. Cheers. 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 Cheers.